Hello guys, welcome to your 24th lesson in this VJS course. And in this lesson, we're going to be working on building our recipe app. Now, the first thing I want to note is this lesson is basically going to be a combination of everything we've learned so far. So all the previous lessons we've learned uh, in this series up to now, we're going to actually be combining everything together to create the at least the basic structure of our recipe app. Now, to be fair, I've actually done most of the heavy lifting so that you wouldn't have to. But in this lesson, I'm actually going to be going over the breakdown, giving you the breakdown of how everything is. Okay, the, all the views we have, all the, the routes and all the components, it's a say. And one thing that I actually want to tell you is don't be afraid. I've actually, um, as usual, uploaded all the files for this particular lesson onto the GitHub repo. And now the specific branch for this particular lesson so that to make it easier for you, I'm going to put the link also in the description below. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in. All right. So here's a quick preview of what I've been worked on so far. So everything that we're actually going to need in our app and we can see we have the header which we've actually worked on before and right here on the own view the route here we can see we have some components right here and this year at the moment are just dummy text okay and then we have this section also popular foods and coming down we have these featured recipes and this is just um, from a JSON file I created which I will show you shortly and we can see the filter which we actually added and we created also in pre some previous lessons back and if we should come to the about page the about routes we can see we have these yeah and okay we have the footer okay and what if we come to the recipes we can still see the recipe of the moment and the recipe for you okay we can still see the default um data that we have right here and then we have the featured recipe okay and what if we come to the download okay we just have this right here for on the download just a single component on the download route and then same for contact okay so let's see how about if we come to the recipe and we click on um, more recipe details okay we are having undefined here all right we're going to fix that later but let's see okay we can come and click on a particular category and we can see we're going to see some details in that category right now all these are just um dummy data and if we should scroll down and okay we can look at a particular recipe and if i should click on this it's going to give us the details of that recipe so we can see the meal details if we have any ingredients and then the instructions and okay we can see we have the image right here all right and most of these that we're seeing here are just basically some css styling and we see the featured recipes and the recipe of the moment okay so how about we go um come to our code and let's see how that actually is structured all right so inside of our visual studio code right here the first thing i want to show you is going to be our main.js file and right here we can see okay we've registered our fonts we've re added fonts awesome right here and okay we've registered the uh, specific icons that we actually need and down here we've imported our css also we've created our hubs and added our router so this is basically everything we've learned so far in different lesson, lessons such as okay importing our custom fonts um adding our icons css our router configuration file and making use of them so that's basically um everything so far we have right here so how about we go into our app dot view now as usual we have our app dot view right here okay and if you notice i'm making use of the script um the setup script right here and then we have our router view okay which is as expected and another thing a global style i actually added which is this um 
targeting all these nav the active um link and adding this color and this is what exactly what we see here so if you look at it here and when we are in the about we can see that this actually has this color right here so that is what this particular um little css code is for okay the next thing i think i would like to show you is actually our router file so let's come right here inside of our index.js now firstly we have for our own view okay we have this home view component right here being showed on the home page right here okay and then moving on we have this about right here okay we have this about path right here so that is whenever we come to forward slash about it's going to render this about view dot view okay and then we also have the recipes okay so the recipes whenever we come right here we have the recipes um view okay which also we can see that we imported and then we have the recipe detail okay the name here is the recipe detail so if i should come right here and i come to any recipe and i click on see recipe details okay so this particular view right here is actually being rendered by this particular um view components and also we have the recipe categories okay right here and by now i know that or i hope that we are familiar with all this and if we should come here let's see category okay and we can see forward slash recipe slash category and then the category name so this right here this view right here is going to handle the rendering this view right here is going to handle the rendering and if we should come to our, the download path okay so we can actually come right here we can see this particular view it's being handled by this right here and also same for the contact which is being handled with this particular component here the contact view and we can see it right here okay so moving on the next thing i would like to show you is each of the views we have so we don't have much views right here we only have okay about six different views or seven different views right here so if i should come to the home view now everything is actually divided into various components okay and whenever you're working with vue.js i would like you to, to think component component so whenever you have okay different aspects okay or you have a part of your app that you want to maybe reuse or okay you can divide you should always try our endeavor to create component and that is exactly what i did so we have here if we should look at our home hero okay we have all this html and just um some bells and whistles using tailwind css classes and right here we can over we can have some over effects which is basically something really simple just translating and adding some transitions and all of that okay and right here in the home food of the day we can actually still see okay recipe of the moment just some basic um html tag and we can see that right here we should come here we have just dummy um content nothing fancy at the moment uh just some dummy content right here okay and same with the own popular foods so if we should come here just basically an image and some html markups now one interesting thing i actually want to show us is this own featured recipe now if i should come to my um src my data recipes.json okay so if we should look at this particular file right here this is a json file okay so i basically added some dummy data just to um render this particular section right here these featured recipes and i basically got them from the api we're going to be making use of all right and we can see we have a key um just this right here this is the meals and it has an array of objects so essentially what i did right here is imported this here okay and once you import it you can then access whatever data you need so right here i need dot meals so i essentially did let recipes equals to recipes data dot meal if i should do something such as console.log and i said console.log recipes data and let's save that and let's check our console actually okay we are going to see 
it right here we're going to see that the this particular json has automatically been passed into an a javascript object right here okay so we can see it, all the details right here which is actually really cool and another thing you might actually notice is that we are making use of the setup script right here so i don't need to return use the setup hook and return anything manually okay so this is automatically exposed and we're able to use the v4 directive right here so if we should check the recipe card the recipe card is not actually that complex so let's check the recipe card component and basically what we have is we are just passing in the props okay so we passed in the props and then we're just rendering the image um rendering the meal and basically that's all and then linking to some at the moment uh dummy data okay so let's move on okay we've seen that now one thing i actually want to show us is the advantages of making use of components one of the advantages of a component approach in maybe any framework let's say for example react Vue, angular etc is the fact that using components can actually help you reuse um your codes okay it improves reusability okay and you are able to actually define logic different logic or different things in different parts so it's not overwhelming it's actually easier to maintain and manage so uh, let me show you an example if i should let's go back to our own view okay so our own view right here so we have this home hero and then we have this home food of the day and more importantly we have this home featured recipe if i should come to let's say for example the recipes view we are going to see that i still made use of the home food of the day and home featured recipe so i can basically just inject this particular component anywhere inside of um, my app and it's basically just rendered that part and i don't have to rewrite this again over and over so this actually is very helpful all right so let's continue i'm going to close my editor right here okay so we have under our views okay if we should check maybe the about view we can see we have just a single component for the about view and which we can see let me close the console okay which we can see right here so just these simple com um, single components right here and the contact view also if we should come to the contact page right here and we can see just a simple um component right here and also the download view we have just the download arrow right here and if i should come here we can see it's right here okay looking nice looking good and what about the recipes view okay so let's come to the recipes view and let's see how that looks like so first we have the recipe of the moments the same component that i actually made use of in the home view okay which is the home food of the day okay so i made use of it also right here okay and another component i reused as i mentioned earlier is this own featured recipe so this that we have um right here and the only difference the only new component we added was this particular component which is the recipes list and is nothing really special we basically use the same json file and we actually um rendered using the v4 render the recipe card and basically i just added some um default option right here so we can choose maybe beef or chicken or dessert uh um lamb um seafood whatever it is we actually need to we are actually going to look in um at making this more dynamic later on all right so let's uh move on uh we have looked at the recipes view and how about the recipe category view okay so essentially for the recipe category view we basically just have this you could make this into a separate component but i just decided to leave this right here and we can have the recipe category list let's look at the recipe category list so essentially we make use of the same json file just static data and we can see okay all this so if we should come to maybe this um, category 
detail view we can see this particular section we have the first one and then the second one we can see um recipes in category one and this is basically just to show the recipes other recipe that is inside of this category all right so that is that and then the last view i actually want to um show us is going to be the recipe um detail view so for that we have two different components right here so the first component is the recipe detail info and then we have the own featured recipe and recall that is the same component we made use of here and also in the own view all right so let's look at the recipe detail info since it's just the only component new component we um really haven't looked at so we just basically have some html um markup with some placeholders or dummy data so if i should come here and i should click on this okay we can see all of this is just in the recipe detail info all right and then the um, other one we have is okay this own featured recipes and then i added an um, horizontal line and then home food of the day so that is basically the breakdown of the app we are actually going to be built in and as i mentioned earlier the code is going to be in the github repo and i'm going to make sure to actually drop the link to this particular branch um, in the description below so that it will be easy for you to actually find to clone and to play around with so i'm going to see you in the next lesson and in that particular lesson we're going to actually be looking at communicating with a server and i'm actually really excited in fact more excited for that particular lesson and i'm going to see you there